This home workout video is a seven day challenge. It's all about lifting and sculpting. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna work the three muscles. We're gonna work the gluteus minimus, gluteus maximus, and gluteus medius. And also we are gonna be toning through three different planes of motion, which is known as frontal, sagittal, and transverse. That's how you are gonna get that amazing lift and sculpt in just seven days. Now, as your online trainer who's qualified with over 25 years, experience I promise I know how to get you amazing results now if you haven't done a warm-up hit the warm-up um, hit the pause button now do a quick warm-up um, you can spend about a minute marching on the spot then we'll get straight into today's workout move coming up we're going to do a light squat and then we just do a squeeze back you don't need to start until the timer appears on the screen so I'm just showing you the move so we're going to do slight squat and then a little squeeze back we're going to do this for 60 seconds now what is important when you take that leg out take it to a slight 45 degree angle so it's not coming directly back neither is it coming out to the side so it's at a slight angle and you don't have to squat too low the key part of this move is as you squeeze that leg behind. Now what I want you to do is keep your tummy muscles tight and really squeeze that tight into the booty. Make sure you feel it. So we're alternating from one leg to another. And how today works, we simply have seven moves and we do each move for one minute. So there's no repeaters. It's going to fly by. The benefit today is, as I said, I'm working the three major muscles. We need to sculpt and lift that booty. Plus, at the same time, you're going to increase your calorie burn. All right, so let's just keep that going. Doing really well. And we've got last 10 seconds. So this is suitable for every fitness level. So just keep going for me. And let's go last five. Take it four and then go three two and one now you can march on the spot I'm just going to show you the next move or if you want to you can go straight into it so this one is what I call a t-bend now now with this move if you want to you can just use a chair if you're perhaps not so good with balance if you want a little bit of support you could just um, have a hand by a chair so all we're going to do with this we are just literally going to bend and then we come back up we are alternating from one leg to the other so as said if balance is an issue just do it perhaps also by a wall have one hand on the wall so you reach down and come back up keep it slow and controlled we're going for quality here not quantity it doesn't matter how many you do just keep it really slow keep the tummy tight you will feel it working in both legs this is also really good at increasing your balance your flexibility as well so tummy is tight and really make sure you bring that leg up behind as high as you can and really squeeze it tight feel it through the glutes okay you're doing really well we've just got last 20 seconds that's good reach it up and back that's coming forwards and back that's good so it's like a pivot from the hip that's how we're now really sculpting through that booty working lots of different angles today it's really important and these are very different to other exercises I'm all about finding stuff that works two and one okay so your next move this time again we're going to just be standing and we're going to do what I call a big deep leg circle so again if you want to use a chair for balance with this one we'll do 30 seconds one leg then change to the other so point the toe in front out to the side and behind bring it in front side behind just keeping that going all right so with this one we're just making and really exaggerate and you can just see on the right here amazing transformations guys please keep sending me through your before and afters there are some just incredible ones all right so make sure that supporting leg is slightly bent tummy tight we're doing really well the key thing with this is you've got to really make sure it's like you're imagining you're drawing that letter d and you're really taking it out wide to the side let's get ready now to change take that to the opposite leg toes pointed in front and out to the side keeping that going that's good and what we're doing here now we're doing a little bit of what we call that transverse a range of mo motion which is really important to make sure we engage all three of those muscles through the booty that's how we're going to really get that lift and sculpt all right you're doing well let's go last five take it four go three two and one all right so next move coming up move four this time have your arms bent in front and it's like you're doing a curtsy but we're taking it to the side all right so you reach that round to the side and this one here we are just doing a little bit of a two planes of motion really here because it's a little bit of what we call frontal as well as transverse and you can just see here another before and after just look at the real sculpt on the next picture you'll see um 
what people send in, you know, this is what I love. I love seeing you guys, all the results you've got. And this one here is just going to really lift and really give you that nice round peachy booty. All right, that's good. And let's just keep that going. Well done. And really make sure you keep that upper body nice and lifted for me. Keep your tummy tight, your arms up. So also what we're doing here, we're just then engaging through those core muscles. That's good. And again, just seeing more results. Let's just keep that going, doing really well. And we've got last um, 15 seconds. And you might find you're feeling a little bit out of breath because we are working major muscle groups. So that will increase your aerobic um, capacity. So you will feel a little bit challenged. And let's go five, take it four, go three, two, and one. All right, well done. So next move coming up, we are this time we're going to do a, a lunge back. And we're also going to get in a bit of an arm workout here at the same time because this is really good. So let's just now lunge the foot back and then coming back up. So let's take it back, lunge down and up. That's good. And we'll just go for doing again 60 seconds, alternating from one leg to the other. Now, I personally prefer lunges where you lunge back instead of lunging forward. It is a lot safer in your knees and it was also so much better at really lifting and sculpting that booty. So let's just keep that going. And if this is an area perhaps you really struggle with, if you're a typical like pear shape, so you find you carry weight around your hips, around your bottom, don't forget I do on my um, website have a video ebook plan which is a four week plan which is all about reducing fat around that area it's got nutrition you've got sweat workouts to do throughout those four weeks and of course another thing that you can do if you're looking at reducing excess body fat around the area is walking walking is amazing and I do have my 20 minute audio walking inch loss workout so let's just keep that going so you are doing really well we've just got last five seconds from now and four let's go three take it two and one okay so move number six is on the floor now if you don't like coming onto the floor because I know a lot of people don't I'm showing you an alternative stay standing up and you're going to do three straight leg kicks on one leg then change to the other if you're on the floor you're going to do four bridges where you push your hips up you do that for four and then you're going to take it to where you do four lifting the knee so it's like you're doing a marching bridge and you're just going to keep alternating with that one so it's four bridges and then we're going to do the alternating four marching bridge lift. That's good. So if you're on the floor, try and push the hips up as high as you can when you're doing that bridge. Push them up high, squeeze the glutes tight, and then you're just going to march one leg and then take that to the other leg. And again, the key thing is keeping the hips up as high as you can. Squeeze that bottom as tight as you can as well. If you're standing up and following me in the right, I want you to focus on keeping your upper body as straight as you can. And you're just doing three leg kicks, taking that foot and aiming to get that opposite hand over to reach your feet. If you can't lift them that high, it doesn't matter. You don't have to um, get that foot to touch the hand. Just do it as well as you can. That's good. You're doing really well. We've got last four. Take it three. And let's go two and one. Okay, so the next move, last one, we are now on move seven. Again, if you're on the floor, I want you to be on your hands and knees we're going to work on one side we're going to lift behind then out to the side if you don't like coming onto the floor be in a standing position you're just going to do a basic squat reach up and then you take the hand to the inside of the opposite foot so let's come into position 30 seconds so if you're on the floor you lift it out to the side and then up so here we're doing a frontal and sagittal so again what I've done throughout this workout I am working you from so many different directions you know it's not just I see all these booty workout challenges but they just do squats. They just work in one direction. You cannot do that. If you really want amazing results, you've got to work all three. All right, let's keep that going. And we're nearly done on this leg. Then we're going to change to the other leg, two and one. All right, let's now change it. Take that to the opposite leg. So we're going to get ready to lift it out to the side. And then we're going to lift up behind. And remember, if you want to, you can do your standing option. Let's just keep that going. You're doing really well. So what I want you to do for seven days is do this this workout every single day same routine you know then what the moves are seven minutes and then you just see on day seven you will feel your booty is up by your shoulders no matter what age you will definitely get results and let's go four take it three go two and one all right that is your workout done now what I'm going to do is just go through a few little extra tips we're also going to stretch it is really important just to do these stretches with me if you need to hit the pause button and um, you can 
can grab some water. If not, I'm going to be talking about this challenge. So just follow what I'm doing with the stretches. Um, so I have done you a little schedule, which you can see here at the end of the video, I'm going to leave this up. So what you can do, you can take a screen grab of it, you can print it off, and then you can tick off every single day and just follow me on those stretches, change legs. You can then put your tick on when you've done day one, just because then it's something tangible for you to do. And also I said, if this is an area, perhaps after the four, um, after the week's challenge, if you are really want to get rid of kind of tone up that area, get rid of any excess body fat around the bottom and really slim down your thighs and booty, then I do have that four week plan. And again, if you are looking at reducing excess body fat, because what we've done today, we've toned and lift, lifted, but to melt off those inches, walking is a great way to really shape and sculpt and lift the booty because when you take that long stride, especially when you do interval walking like I do with my audio walking um, course, and what we do is we really lift and sculpt at the same time. Okay, so again, still follow me on the um, stretches. And these seven minutes, oh my goodness, they've gone crazy. This one has had 2.2 million views. I've got my arm one that has just recently come up. So you've got abs, you've got arms. I'm literally covering so many of them. So you've got so many fun ones. We've got um, one to work to get slim legs and the other thing with this is, you know, these workouts, these are all free for you on there. And then the recent one that I've just done, just done one to reset your metabolism. So, you know, you could pick one of them, do it for seven days, have a couple of days rest and go back, do another one. All right. And just do those arm stretches. So well done. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not ready, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you like this, definitely please share it on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, wherever on social media. If you've got any questions, um, do let me know in the comments down below. And I am going to be working now on a posture, one of these seven minute challenge ones, a how to get rid of your muffin top. We're going to do a beginner's guide to running. I've got so many of them. I do look at every single one of your comments. And for me, it's important as your trainer that I give you what you want. So um, there will be the perfect seven day challenge for you coming up. If you've put down it in the comments, then I promise I will get around to it. And don't forget as your online trainer, 25 years experience, I know what works. And guys, you can do it. You can reach your goals. Remember, it's just about healthy eating. It's about making exercise part of your life. And it is about believing. Remember, you can do anything. You are incredible. And it is just about determination, discipline. Just make sure you do it. Make me a habit. It. make me part of your life YouTube it's free I'm here for you every single step of the way so I'll see you back here tomorrow for day two from this challenge